Hello, my darlings. Happy Friday. The weekend is here. It is upon us. Put your feet up. Take your bra off. You deserve it. Have a treat. Have some ice cream. I miss ice cream. I can't. Why am I talking about ice cream? <laughs> let's just let's just stop where we're. Let's just stop. OK, hello. Welcome to Design Me Devon. <laughs> We're going to be renovating another one of your, another one, another one of your, if I, I've got a blue tongue, I did have a sweet and it's made my tongue go a bit blue. So if you see flashes of blue, that's because, um, yes, I've got blue tongue from a sweet. <sighs> How many segues into things that don't matter, but that's just me. I wing things and I just see how they come out in the end and then I don't even edit them out, to be honest with you. But yes, yeah, so we're going to be building a beautiful red barn today from one of you guys. I had this build on my gallery and um, I've had my eye on this build in the gallery for a few weeks. So or a couple of weeks. I don't know how long, but I've had my eye on it and I want to do it today. So that is what we're going to do. Yes, we're going to flop over now. Have a look at the build. See who built it. See the description. How much money we've got to work with. Show me what you're working for. And then we're going to go and renovate it. So without further ado, further ado, further ado, let's go and have a look, shall we? Okay, my darlings, here we are. We are at the old barn. This was done by the user Nyanime. Nyanime? Am I saying that right? That sounds really nice. Nyanime. Oh, I like that. And I like the look of this build as well. It's really, really cute. Really, really, really cute. So bloody cute. The description is... This was an old hoarder's barn. After he died, it went on sale. A young couple fell in love with the barn and the little lake in the yard, so they bought it. They want to renovate it, but they want to stay true to the barn look. And they also want to bulldoze the outhouse. They have 30000 for this renovation. So I'm here for it. I am absolutely here for this. So this is what we're going to do today. Um, it's got little Simsy in here as well, so I don't know if she's renovated this or not but um i'm going to do my version of it yes i am um so yeah this is really really cute so guys go and get this a download from nyanime on the gallery um and give you give it a whirl but for now we'll have a little look and a little tour around the build okay loves here we are we are in windenburg on a 30 by 20 lot not windenburg sorry brindleton bay um and this is the old barn look how cute it is so lovely. I love what you've done with the tool mod here by putting these up on the walls, the little panes, and how you've opened out these doors here. I just absolutely love that. Beautiful landscaping as well. I'm very much for it. Love these hay bales. I always forget about these. I need to utilize them in a build one day. Oh, this is so cute. So, so cute. And they said that there's a lake at the back as well. A little lake. I'm absolutely for that as well. Oh, that's really, really nice. This build is so nicely done. Um... I love a Scandinavian looking barn. I really do. A red Scandinavian barn. I'm absolutely for it. I really am. Look how gorgeous this is. All these little details. You're very talented. Very talented builder. And the balance of this is just chef's kiss as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Oh, you've even opened the door here as well. That's so cool. All these little touches that you have to really look for. I love that. Love that. Anyway, we're going to start downstairs. This is obviously a barn. A hoarder barn, to be exact. With lots of hoardery bits. Um, we have got 30k to spend. This is where... Oh, there's like a little kitchenette slash bedroom area over here. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Oh, I love it. And then upstairs as well. What? How do you get up there? Oh, there's a ladder here. Upstairs is like a little... Oh, I love how you've leaned the paintings against the wall. That's such a clever way of using the tool mod. I do really, really enjoy how you did that. All these little touches, they're so great. They're so great. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think I'm going to make it a little bit more. I think I'm going to go for a Scandinavian country cottage vibe. So not so well, a little bit modern, but more kind of country fied. Maybe I could utilize and maybe use the new kitchen if it comes in with a nice swatch that would match in. The very white, very pale tones in here. Um, I'm going to try and put a staircase in somewhere. I think maybe I could get the staircase in around where the ladder is. Hopefully I could. I could get it in here, actually. Hopefully if I can do a wraparound staircase there, maybe with a bathroom here, that could be good. Um, 
I might utilize this and have this as the kitchen, but I might raise that up on a platform and have this as like the living area here. Yeah, I think I might do that. And this is going to be the bedroom. I'll do a bedroom up here, like a mezzanine bedroom maybe. If I can wrap around a staircase here and maybe knock through this bit so we could look down into the living area. Oh, maybe we'll do that and have like a little double door moment going on here. I might modernize it slightly. I still want to keep that. You said keep the barn look. I would definitely keep the barn look, but I might just modernize it slightly with some more modern windows and stuff. Um, and I do want to have like a little farm moment out here. So maybe some an orchard or something for some growing trees. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, this is gorgeous. Well done to you. Guys, as I said, make sure you go and download this off the user, off the gallery, because it's such a lovely build. I don't think you're going to be disappointed renovating this for yourselves. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get over to the speed build format and we're going to start renovating. Okay, my darlings, here we are on the speed build. Um, This is me, as usual, clearing up all of the bits and bobs. I'm going to mention it again. A few of you said, you do know you can use the hammer tool, right? I do know that. After many years of playing The Sims, I hope I should know that. But I just prefer doing things with my little my little sim hand and getting rid of everything. I just think it looks better, better in recording doing it this way as well. It just looks a little bit more, I don't know, like you're doing a bit of labour. And this would be quite labour intensive as well. Um, but yes, this is the build. Now, I might have went slightly over budget. Maybe around about nearly 10k over budget. But I'm just going to say that the couple that are moving in here took a loan from a bank. And yeah, that is the storyline for today. <laughs> I just got to, I furnished mostly the downstairs and I was like, oh God, I've only got like, what? No simoleons to do the bedroom or bathroom. So I had to, I had to cheat a little bit. It's the first time I've cheated in Design Me Devon. So you're just going to have to let it go. I'm sorry, but it's just got to be done. So I did do what I said I was going to. I did extend out here, though. I did do a little balcony moment out this part here from the bedroom area. But I did modernize it slightly with some modern windows. I wrapped those staircases well and had a mezzanine bedroom that kind of overlooks the dining area. Um, the new kitchen from the new kitchen pack came in handy for this place as well. Um, I think I'm using the new kitchen a lot at the minute because it's a new kitchen and we don't have many new kitchens in The Sims 4. I don't even remember the last one. It was Snowy Escape, but it was a kitchen because it didn't really come with cabinetry, did it? No, it didn't. Very fuming. Um, <laughs> so I did utilize it in this build a bit more today. Um, but yeah, I, I, this came together. I was going to do this little roof moment at the top here, but the flaps were just not working they were sticking out and then i just kept looking at it like can i get away with doing that i was like nope that looks stupid what about if i bend that nope that still looks crap so i end up getting rid of that idea altogether now we go through we go for the eco lifestyle flooring the light timber eco lifestyle flooring and this is me being fuming at the fact that these roofs are creeping through because we've got that staircase there um, what I actually do is just change the trims on them and it sorts itself out. So, yeah, um, using the modern windows from Eco Lifestyle on that mez mezzanine and those lovely glass sliding doors from Island Living as well, which they just fit with this perfectly. Snowy Escape windows. And also I used one of the Mos Moschino windows as well. Um, on the other side, you probably just saw me put that down. Um, but I wanted like a crisp white window with these. So that's what I did. That's what I did with all of this. And I really liked the outcome. Did go for a very Scandinavian kind of country cottage vibe on the inside. Um, so very light, very airy, kind of modern as well. There, there was a lot of modern, modern influence in there, especially with the furniture. But I always find that with Scandinavian design in furniture and in architecture, it is very modern the way it looks anyway so that's what i did now i'm raising these platforms up around here um I, I raised the platform in the kitchen but also in the living area and dining area as well just to give it a bit more interest on the inside so it just wasn't on one flat level but very open plan as well everything's open plan the kitchen's kind of separated off a little bit but only by use of a platform and one wall it just gives it the effect that it's just kind of separated and i just think it, it came to life loves this is me getting rid of those fences because it was bloody expensive and I needed all the money I could get. But as I said, I went over budget budget anyway. Um, 
Yeah, I couldn't help it. Sorry. I end up going for these minimal slats as well. Ignore the ceilings. I end up going for these minimal slats from Spadair. From Spadair. And yeah, I just think it looks nice. Nice and clean and fresh on the inside. Um, and I really like it. It's a cute place for a couple of sims. A couple of sims is perfect for this place. Um, and I use this little fence here from Cats and Dogs. This is from the live edit. And it's free as well. So I just joined these up together and replaced the fence that we had going around it with this one. And it just freshened it up. And I don't know, it kind of went with the house a little bit more, I think, because of the colour palette. Now, you'll be interested to know as well that the original build only has seasons in it, which is so cool. So if you do want to download that build, it literally has base game and seasons in it. Now, I don't limit myself to packs with anything, <laughs> especially not designing Devon because I just find it limits me a bit too much. So I've used all of the packs in this. I'm, I'm unsure how many packs I used in it, but yeah. Now this is me just going around and getting rid of a few bits in the landscaping. I just wanted to get rid of those spiky looking plants. And we moved, we changed a lot of the trees as well, just to blend it in with the lot that I actually did put it on. Um, and it looks cute. It looks cute. I was, I was proud of this when it was done. Really, really proud of the build when it was finished. I think it's very sweet, but still very crisp. Now there's still lots of changes that get made. I don't know why I was doing that. I think I was watching YouTube and I got distracted. Um, but yes, very, very nice indeed. I think you're going to enjoy it. Now I can put a column on that bit because of the platform and it was creeping through the roof line. It was just looking weird. And I had to get rid. I had to get rid, love. So you're going to have to excuse it. You really are. But I don't know. It's still very cute. Still very cute. And then I was, I, if I didn't know what terrain paint to use, I went with a few in the um, beginning. But I ended up going for this one here, which again is from base game. Uh, I just think it suited the build itself. I just think it looks, always looks nice when a build has got kind of some foundation to kind of sit on top of. But I also use this for the pathways as well. I actually changed the path direction a little bit around here because I knew I was going to put in some landscaping on those little like green patches that I've left. Um, and I using this like path as well, this little like stone pebbly path on the outskirts of this one here, I find blends that in nicely to the grass or whatever you're putting it on. Now I know a lot of people hate the grass in Bridgerton Bay because of the texture on it and it doesn't really go with any other grass texture that we've got. I don't understand why they didn't give that us that grass in train paints. Very silly of them, to be honest. But uh, I utilised it as best as I could. I really did. So yeah, it's got one bathroom. It's got a big lounge, kitchen, dining area. We have a little like office nook under the stairs as well. And then obviously it's got the mezzanine bedroom above. Um, perfect for two sims. Perfect. This is the little orchard area that I put in. I wanted to put apple trees here, but because it was summer in the game when I was playing this, they weren't gr they wouldn't grow and I wanted some fully formed trees to be there. So I ended up planting avocado trees, these here. That wouldn't make sense. This is supposed to be a Scandinavian um, barn. Avocados don't grow in Scandinavia, but we're just going to pretend that those are apple trees. Okay, so that's the mantra that we're going for today. Um, and this is me detailing those little... Uh, kind of like to landscaping areas that I left bare just because I wanted a little bit of difference with the pathway. So I end up mix mixing the blue flower and the white flower together. And I just think it looks nice. I do. But the landscaping was quite easy actually because the majority of it was done for me already. Like it was lovely landscaping. I just wanted to change a few bits about it just to blend it in with the world that we've got going around here. Um, and I think it did. I think it did in the end. And I left the lake completely alone because I absolutely loved how that lake looked. Um, and obviously climbed a little bit of ivy just up the fronts and sides of the build. Just to, I don't know. Oh, I just think it grounds it. Makes it look a little bit of extra detail. And I'm all for a little bit of extra detail. You guys know me by now. So, yes, that's what happened. And that little front bit was looking weird to me. I was like, something still needs to go here. So I used those street lamps from Seasons. And a couple of those like flower vine boxes from, I don't know what that was, but uh, from Eco Lifestyle. And it just suited it. And here I just wanted a little area where they could come out and sit. So I used a few of these from Perfect Patio, I think they're from. Um, just on the balcony area so they can come and sit out there if they wish, you know. I mean, they've got to, it would be rude if we didn't, to be honest. 
Um, but it looks nice. And again, I'm trying to stick with that Scandi vibe. So everything's very light and airy in here. Um, and I ended up putting a little wicker mat out the front there because I didn't want one in the house for this build. So, yes, very nice indeed. And there I was like, nope, that plant doesn't go. Let's use that one. Oh, stunning. And then around to the back as well. Did want to climb a little bit more ivy up the back and I mixed the university, no, not university, get together ivy with the other ivy. I forget where it's from. Just to play around with the colours a little bit more. And then this space here was just for a little bit of a dining space just out from, I think that's where the dining room goes. Yeah, that's just out from the dining room area as well. So, and a little cheeky barbecue. Now I was already at 20k here. I was like, oh God, am I getting furnished? I hope I can furnish this house with 20k. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. I ended up having to cheat, as I said. And it was probably like, look how many lights I use here. I did want to light this place up a little bit outside as well. So I did do a little bit of outdoor lighting just around, just so you can see where you're going. Um, but yeah, I think it's looking cute. Anyway, into the interior. So as I said, really wanted to use the new kitchen and I used it in that tone there. Um, but I didn't go for the, did I go for the, no, I did. I went for the new oven as well. It's new. I want to play with it. It's there. So I end up going for the new oven. And I just think it suits the vibe of this house as well. That country Scandinavian vibe that I was trying to go for. Um, and the sink as well. So it is a lovely kitchen. I just don't like the swatches on it really. Nor do I like the um, cupboards, trying to fit the cupboards on. It's just not for me. It really isn't. Now, I know I used a different... Um, did I? No, I don't think I did. I'm not going to say that anyway. It's gone now. Um, yes. Curtains. What more can be said? Just I sized down the ones from Cats and Dogs. Um, put them there but and, and this is me kind of struggling like oh god what am I going to do with these cupboards here everything's just they just don't fit the kitchen properly I don't find um they, they all overlap each other and look a little bit weird so I was right in what I said last time I said like they've just overlap they're too big they, they don't fit together perfectly and I've seen a few a few simmers say that as well and it's still annoying me with the sparkly floor so that's blue barking by the way I think Tom's home um um but yeah i i went to town i went to town on it i really did but that sparkly floor is absolutely doing my head in at the minute um and people saying there's a setting in um well the settings to be able to change that i tried i tried to press it i couldn't change it it was really really annoying so i just had to leave it i just had to leave it through um but yeah i still like the vibe of it i still like how it looks um but yeah that annoyed me the sparkly floor that very much annoyed me. Yes, it did. Anyway, into the main living area. So this is the main living room. Um, again, using the sofas and the armchairs from the paranormal pack as well in a light color. Everything's very bright and airy in here. But I like the layout of it. I like the platform shape. I like that we've got a nice fireplace in the middle of the room. And I separate the dining room off using that shelf there, which is from Snowy Escape. I just think it looks nice. I just think it blends in really nicely. Um, but I'm already, look, I'm down to 11k already. And um, we've still got a bathroom and a bedroom to furnish. And also a dining room as well. So, <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to watch the pennies. Whatever I go over, I go over. I gave them 10 extra thousand or 10,000 extra. Um, and I think I spent up to about, I think I spent about seven of it. So not the full 10k. We'll have a look. I can't remember. But yes, I didn't spend the full 10k. Now, this is me derping out and putting pictures up on here without thinking that we need to put a door for the bathroom. So don't worry, I'll get rid of one of those pictures and we put a door for a bathroom there instead. And also here, I put a little cabinet and a grandfather clock. But the grandfather clock was just too expensive. So I ended up getting rid of the grandfather clock. And it just didn't look right either. I don't know why. I was just looking at that. I kept catching in my, in my eye the grandfather clock and I ended up getting rid of it just because it looked a bit weird and I'm not for it. Now, this is that little office like nook underneath the stairs. I just think that's really cute. It's all player tested as well. So your sim can get in there and use it. Um, it's just a nice little bit of utilized space, I think. Um, I like it. I do. And this is me majorly running out of money now. I've got 3,000 smoleons left and we've still got a bedroom to do. I was just like, yeah, that's not happening. Not happening. Using the gorgeous new console table from Peacemaker. I'm going to be using that in a lot of builds. A lot of builds. And this is me getting pissed off of the mirrors at the fact that they're all too 
high, so I end up just using these ones here from base game. And I still think it looks nice. And I still think it brings that Scandinavian vibe across. Nearly burped. Um, but I still, I wanted, I didn't want it to look too, I wanted that cottage vibe to come through, but I still wanted that slightly modern Scandinavian vibe to come through even more. Um, and I did that by utilizing furniture, but then hitting it with like that little flower box, just those little touches here and there, the kitchen especially, um, the lighting, the patterns as well that I used on the rugs and stuff. I just think it gave a bit more of a Scandi vibe and I'm absolutely for it. I really am. Now this is the little like boot room you could call it really. I put some shoes down here, some sides that you could store your shoes and stuff in. Um, and I also put a wall up there with an arch. I did that off of camera. I just think that that looks a little bit better. Um, having that little bit of separation coming through as well. A, a bathroom on my channel. I don't know who I am. But yes, this is the bathroom. Very simple. I end up just doing a shower room really. Using a lot of the same bath stuff that I do use. Including that um, glass separating thing that was from Snowy Escape. Yeah, Snowy Escape. And that window box. I just wanted a bit of green in here so I popped in at that little well it's not a window box it's a planter a vine planter um over by the window and I was going to put the shower down at a lower level but it got to it and I was just like do you know what I'm not going to bother I'm not going to bother and anyway up to the bedrooms this is the last room you'll see me furnish before we go into a video tour how long have we got left just in case I don't over speak okay cool um yeah bathroom again keeping those light vibes coming through so using a lot of snowy escape but also those gorgeous new wardrobes from Peacemaker and then just sliding them together as well. And then using the same dresser over there. Just so it matched in really nicely. I just think the vibe's nice. I think the vibe's nice in here. And it's very nice and bright. Which I'm absolutely for. Um, but yes. Let me know what you think my loves. I'm going to leave you now. Have the most amazing weekend. I'll be back on Monday with Let's Build the Worlds. Um, unsure what we're doing next week. I might slip in a little. I, we haven't done a like a special video for a while. So I might do one of them next week as well. But. I'm going to leave you. You're going to watch a video tour. Goodbye.